Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Lozilla with 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 Bodie, also known Hi. as Andrew Marriage, Mister Unemployed, and with Paul Gordon, Mister Self-Employed. Self-Employed is better than unemployed, so I'm better. Welcome to this edition of Lozilla, where we promise to go into depth, uh, analyzing the recent. Uh, tax return tax uh, uh cut proposal by president donald trump i'm kidding <laughs> we're not gonna talk about any of that stuff because lozilla is for Just the lows yeah but i was setting people up it was a tease so in that context dude okay. oh, do, oh oh so do you want to play hard and fast with like hard and fast rules that we never break that we never break or you do want to go or... into that because I, I don't have rules i don't have rules i don't have any rules i i, I have i have suggestions I have suggestions. Suggestions. Okay, the show's started. The hood comes off. The, the show. Hair no, oh, oh! I, I got I'm drinking orange juice tonight, folks. Uh, orange juice. Feel juice. like no, it's Blue purely Blue. orange juice, folks. Purely orange juice because I understand. Even though this isn't radio, I'm pretending it is because I'm a loser. Uh, and you can quote me. No, don't quote me on that. That would be wrong. <laughs> that would be wrong. I, I know a few people out there that are already. Ooh, I got to bookmark this. I got to download this video. Get that done clip. Fucked up. I done. I done. I done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Screwed the pooch. Oh, you remember that? You know where that's from? Year one. Remember that? No, you had the one rule. Yeah, yeah. Screwed the pooch. Don't you remember the one rule? From? Year one. Comedy. I, I can't even remember what the rule was. Jack Black and. Uh... Oh, dude, I don't watch Jack Black. Oh, what, 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 you say it like you're some sort of Jack Black purist or something? Like, the heck? Well, I like I like actual comedy. Oh, that is Jack Black is funny. I don't I don't want to hear. It. You know, you're keeping me from my orange yeah, juice. Yeah, when I was five. I, I have a I have a cold coming on. I got to get a lot of this orange juice in me so I can so I can get the show going. Hmm. And you got to get, mm. get the OJ inside you. Just watch out for the... I, I hear uh, if you want to be a professional, you, you should drink uh, loudly in the just microphone. Watch out, just watch out for the white Broncos. Well, they're they're not going to go at a really breakneck speed. They're going to go at a nice, easy pace, so you can just kind of gently follow behind. Yeah. Right? That's where yeah. we're going with that? Well, yeah, it makes a better news story. Absolutely. It's a much better... I'm AC! I'm OC, damn it! I'm, a, I'm No, I'm AC, damn it! That was an OJ reference. If you folks didn't get it, you're probably too young to be watching this show. We're going to get to the first story. What do you think? First story. Let's do it. First story. First story is man, and, and these are in no particular order, man marries robot. Man marries robot. After giving up on dating scene. And this is in weird, weirdasiannews.com. That's weirdasiannews.com. Yeah. I married a I married a robot once. What was his name? Oh, sorry. Hoover. Oh wow, did he suck? Mm -hmm. I could have asked another I question, but I won't. Had to change the filter quite frequently. But it did <laughs> I, bet, I bet it got. I don't know. Okay. Um, back to the story. In most, I went bagless after a while. <laughs> you had to. I mean, after a certain point, you know, yeah, 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 had to. But but even if you go bagless, eventually you're still gonna have a problem. Well, you might not. Other people, I would probably. Yeah. But you just rinse and spit. I don't. Or... Right. Uh, okay. Um, in most <laughs> cultures, a wedding is a time of great joy and change. For one mother in China, oh my gosh, the mother was involved in this. Her son's recent wedding ticked one of those it ticked one of those boxes. I love how this is written. When her 31-year-old son brought home his fiance, his fiance. I'm I mean, listen, I'm looking at the fiance. Eventually we're going to have to figure out how we can integrate these uh pictures, bro. Because, because, yeah. because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't want to sound like, like thingist. I that'd be thingist, right? There's racism. If you send me, if you send me the speciesism. link, I can. If you send me the link, I can just put up the screen behind. Us. I can't. I can't send you the link. Oh, that's fine. Because if I do the 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 thing, that's it's fine. gonna change. You know what just I'm talking keep reading. about. Just keep reading. Just, just yeah. Anyway, I don't want. I don't want to be. Uh, you know, racist is if you say something. You know, collectivizing people in a race. Species is if you say something that collectivizes individuals within their species, like I'm OP. You, I, I like how you're saying collectivize when really you mean oppress. 
yeah, it's the same word. It's the same. Anytime that you mention any group. More is the sexist language. Thank you. Right. Uh, but I want to say, I don't want to be a thingus, but for a robot, she's hot. Yeah. I'm just going to say that. I don't, I hope that I didn't offend any robots out there. Uh, if, if your toaster is listening right now, just, just. Her, her battery pack is probably a little toasty, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Your toaster's lit up right now. I mean, yeah. boy or girl, your toaster's probably lit up looking at this girl. You gotta get uh, those buns. She's easy on the eyes. I just say that. So, so Zhang Zhao works. She, as, she was made for him. She was made for him. She was literal, literally, literally made for him. He works as a robot designer. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, he made his own wife. This is like Chobits. This is this is like uh, Pygmalion, right? Did you Isn't ever that, watch Chobits? You never saw Chobits. I never saw Chobits because I like comedy. Oh. So, it's anime. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I like entertainment. So that's why I didn't watch it. So based in, and for all you Chobits religious followers out there, uh, uh, my I, I live in New Hampshire. Uh, I'll give you my address later on. Uh, based in the city of Hangzhou, he has unsuccess, unsuccessfully tried dating for the last six years. You know, folks, generally speaking. Might be because you build robots. I, I don't want to I, I'm, I'm not going to go down that road but I mean generally speaking folks it is a good idea if you've been trying to date for six years go to the robot go go robot man go robot it's save not going to work save the species yeah yeah save the species go robot I mean there's a picture of him he's, he's carrying her over the threshold or whatever he's doing if you could see the guy uh, I would say Hmm. What does he look like? He looks like, uh, well, he has a lot of turtle qualities. I'm going to go with the, uh, you know, the, the ubiquitous turtle terminology because he, he definitely has some, some well, distinctive. Turtles have, turtles have. I'm an, not in... saying anything against turtles. Just so you know. No, but what I'm saying is, is, uh, but relatively speaking, turtles have some of the largest, um, uh, penises. I, They're literally like the length of the body. I'm thinking that's not a quality he doesn't share with the turtles. That'd be like having my dong up to here. I'm thinking. Like, I'm thinking it's more like uh, he has like kind of that turtley, beaky kind of mouth and kind of turtle eyes, and he's a uh, shaved head, so he looks like he has a, a you know turtley uh, bald head. Although he's a little, he's like a little, he's like Cartman Turtle. That's what he looks like. He looks like Cartman Turtle. Wow. If you could picture Cartman Turtle, that's what this guy looks like. <laughs> trying to date for six years as Cartman Turtle. The problem is the women, obviously. Cartman Turtle syndrome. <laughs> the Cartman Turtle syndrome. Right. The problem is obvious. If you look like Cartman Turtle, it's he's the women. CTS. He's it's, got CTS. Yes, he's got C. He has CTS, Cartman Turtle syndrome. Well, we all know what that is. And if you have CTS and you can't get the ladies, it's the ladies. Go robot. You, if you can't, if you can't beat them, I believe. Them. I believe that he's uh, pretty much single-handedly proven that women are useless, or something. Yeah. I, I mean, does this <laughs> robot make sandwiches? This is, if that's the case, I'm sold. Yeah. This. Oh yeah. If, you, if she makes sandwiches, although I, I don't want my sh wife to watch this. No, just a random thought. My wife should not watch this episode. <laughs> I'm just no, baby. I know we tried to record this episode. It didn't work out. I don't know. I, 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 How do you just get Southern? You just, does your wife think you're from the South? Sometimes. Sometimes. Is that one of those long-standing fibs you just never revealed? She actually thinks she's married to four men, and that's one of them. So, and they're all me, but, you know, that, that's, that's yet another reason why she can't watch this show. She'll four find men. out. Four, four men. Four men. Four men. Oh, okay. Four men, not four <laughs> men. The B is silent. You're 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 messing that up. See the B is oh, silent. By the or, way, if or, if you or, watch the the pre-show, you would have gotten that B is silent joke. Right. So make sure you <clears throat> like the page and follow and see first. Yeah. So if, yeah. If, if you're seeing this on the tubes of you, my version on the tubes of you, then you're gonna want to go to facebook.com backslash Nepa TV and mm -hmm. watch the full version that Bodhi but, shot in his Brian, underwear. Brian, Brian just called us aliased. We're aliased. Yeah, I don't. The B is silent. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That wait, wait, hold on. Say that again. I got to process that. I missed something. Alias. I the went B over is my. Silent. Baliest. Ableist. Oh, we called us ableist. Yeah, we, we are. 
Yeah, we alias. are ableist. We are ableist. A alias. We are alias. You got a problem with that? I violate your nap with that belief? Did I do that? Did I do? Did I do that? Okay. We're going to go back to the story. So uh, last year after quitting his job, dude, he quit his job? Man, he couldn't even build robots right. How the heck did he build a lady robot? How does he think this relationship's going to work out? I know. It's like right away he's he's homeless and unemployed and he built a hot chick robot. And I'm telling you, she's a hot chick robot, ladies and gentlemen. Seriously. A hot chick robot. I mean, I mean, if you saw them walking down the street, you would know she was a robot, but you would still look at them and say, what the hell is she doing with him? You know what's really cool, <laughs> you know? though? You'd be like, whoa, 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 he's a CTS. What is she doing with him? I don't want to be a locust. I'm not a locust. But I, I bet mean, you she has a mute button. <laughs> That's, my, well, okay. I had a joke that, a, never mind. I, I'm not going to say the joke that was in my head. because She's going to divorce him. It's become <laughs> sentient. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, as a result, okay, so putting his energy toward his new love name, Ying Yang. Oh, my gosh, it really is. No, it's Ying Yang. Come on. Come on. Yin Yin Yang. Yin Yang. Yin and Yang. No, it's it's not. It's Y. No one says Yang. Dude, it's Y I N G. Y I N G. It's not Yin and Yang. It's Yin Yang. It's Yin Yang. Okay, oh, look. Yin -yang. Look, I see the stunned look in your face as you realize that a man who probably spent hundreds of thousands of dollars and put his whole life into everything making this gorgeous girl when he sat down and thought of a name, Yin Yang. Yang Ying, this is another reason why he was dating for six years with no success. <laughs> not wow. not good with the words, ladies and gentlemen. Not good with the words. Maybe that was just the name of the motherboard. I don't know. Let's but see. I, I meant to cue up sound I, effects, but I, I failed. You know, I just want to say that your jokes require sound effects. Mine don't. Okay, you require a laugh track. I don't. Your jokes are a sound effect. That's right. In and of themselves, they yeah. they carry through. They they serve the whole kit and caboodle. They do it all. So currently, she understands Chinese characters and images. She can even say a few words. However, she cannot yet. Oh my gosh, she can't yet walk, dude. Dude, he married a toddler. I don't care what she looks like mentally. He married a toddler. That's wrong. I mean, I was somewhat a little bit weirded out by the whole marrying a robot, but. But, dude, he married a toddler. I don't want to imply wow. that, that all adults who can't walk are toddlers. But uh, it, <laughs> it, it, the, the implication is that she can learn to walk. So she, she's maturing. So that's why I'm saying she's a toddler. Oh, I'm... I'm she's maturing. Yeah. Does she at least have tits? She has, she has the breastage. Yes, she does. Okay. She is... She is... She is he has been. She has been applied with. Uh, well, I've never seen a toddler with tits, so that kind of rules that out. <laughs> you never know. You never know. There, there, there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, you know that whole. Uh, Mon I don't want to go there. What Monsanto's doing with the milk and uh, and the chemtrails and how that's changing us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> also, mercury retrograde is a factor. In this as wow. well. Wow. <laughs> oh, what about sex, though? That's a good point, Christine. Well, let's see. As required by tradition, she wore the red scarf draped over her head. She chose this, I'm sure. And Zing's mother and friends. Wit oh, my gosh. His mother and friends. What ha it Listen, listen. I just want to say this. If you're marrying a robot and your family shows up to celebrate your marriage to a robot, that you says one. Had, you probably should have had a post-term abortion. At some point. <laughs> Probably. But what it says about you is that when your family looks at you, they think, loser! I mean, they, they're like, no, no this, this is China. Ruser! 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 Wait. Roger, you Ruser. You Ruser. Look, Rook, Rook. It's Ru, it's Ru, Ru, Ruser. Ruser. Oh, we're. Man, we've. Going? <laughs> they're gonna. They're, this is not gonna be a monetizable video on YouTube. Our no. advertisers don't seem to want to advertise. Yeah, I don't understand, yeah. Roser. <laughs> so, oh, wow. so I mean, if, if it really, it's it's your family's way of saying yes. We acknowledge. Yes, I mean they probably recognize the CTS and the lack of verbal skills, and this is. 
is about the best that this guy could do. I don't know. I, I think we're done. We talked about this like forever. I think we're done with this story. I There's actually that. more to it, but I think I think we literally we literally drove I mean, the robot the cutting, into the ground. The, it's the cutting edge of marriage, human marriage. Oh, oh, okay, yes, and I know that you. You are uh, you you very much yeah. appreciate tradition and uh, the whole family values, and <laughs> nuclear family, and <laughs> as traditional gender roles. And you, even though he's I've all about from, that, I've, I've he's, benefited from a great family. I have benefited greatly from having a great family. And we're, we're gonna have that conversation on another show. Probably not Lozilla yeah. though. No, but but it's coming. That conversation is coming. If you stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the next story. What do you say? Yeah, that sounds good. It's a big segment. And this one's kind of uh, is a kind of robot theme to this show because we got a couple of robot stories. This is kind of indirectly robot. An artificial womb, that's W-O-M-B with a silent B, successfully grew baby sheep. And humans could be next. Baby Dude. sheep? Oh, if you look at it, it's... Isn't uh, it a lamb? Uh, I think sheep and lamb are the same thing there, bro. Right, so a baby sheep is a lamb. I didn't write the headline. Uh, let's see who wrote the headline. Rachel Becker. Shame on you, Rachel. Shame on you. First An off, idiot. you use a word like womb with a stupid silent B that triggered Bodie during the pre-show. Almost lost him. He almost left in a, in a hissy fit because it's like English language sucks. And, I couldn't believe the bee. And then you and you can't say ba you say baby sheep instead of a baby sheep is a lamb, girl. Girl, can I call you girl? Or should I call you woman? Or should I call you ma'am? Miss. Did you just assume her gender? Madam. Well, Wait, I just did. Well, yeah, you did. Yeah. Fuck. Her, her name is Rachel Becker. I'm assuming that when Becker? if 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 you were born Rachel Becker and you are comfortable with that name Rachel Becker, you're probably comfortable being called a girl or a woman, whichever you prefer and, and an idiot for calling it a baby sheep oh yeah 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 see that totally you totally missed the seo on that one and and i'm i, I yeah yeah you did <laughs> yeah or, or or she didn't maybe that's why maybe it was an seo thing it's like i don't know man nobody's looking for baby sheep i mean baby lamb they're looking for baby sheep though hey that's stupid baby uh, a, a baby sheep is a lamb that's stupid i don't care it's uh, way more search terms for baby sheep okay okay hey. fake news Herb. Fake news. Yeah, news is Christine, pretty much driven by Christine SEO. Christine said she loves this. Babies born after 21 weeks will have a higher chance of surviving with the artificial womb. That is uh, very true. That is absolutely true, Christine. And now you're bringing a serious element into the show, and for that, I hate you. Thank you. Thank you for being serious and ruining everything. Now you know what? Yeah. I'm done. He's gone, <laughs> except for his shoulder. <laughs> hey. Hey, Paul Gordon. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Uh, inside what looks like an oversized, it does, an oversized Ziploc bag strewn with tubes of blood and fluid. I love blood and fluid. Mm -hmm. Blood and fluid. That's blood great... and fluid. You know what? That's a great band name, blood and fluid. Blood and fluid. Blood and fluid. Mm, let me tell you about self ownership. Blood and fluid. Self ownership. What do you think? Dude, I'm, I'm on this. I'm going to start a band. It's going to be called Blood and Fluid. I, you know, I don't wow. think anybody's ever done this before. It's going to be like hardcore metal rap screamo rock. Uh, and I'm going to talk about self ownership. I'm gonna talk about say, the nap. You can actually even say all the words backwards and really confuse people. Dude, I should just say the words backwards. <laughs> and and pronounce all the B's even if they're silent. Yeah. Yes. So ac ackwards. Yes, ackwards. Yes! I call it ackwards. Blood. No, I'll call it blood and fluid, the ackwards band. Ackwards band. This, ackwards band. These are all completely <laughs> random thoughts not related to anything. So, uh, oh, Larry joined us. Larry, Larry's, Larry's actually going to appear in the show after this. Yeah, we're gonna shit talk Larry hard. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna slam you, Larry. Larry, we're gonna slam you against the wall. You're gonna get the you can get the kind of profile that you deserve. 
So uh, let's see. Inside As he builds our criminal profile. That's fine. Well, yeah, and reports us to the UN. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, over four weeks, their lungs and brains grew. They okay, sprouted. Okay, the UN won't do anything. <laughs> well, that's that's true. Uh, they they sprouted rule open. Rule, they sprouted rule. They spr This is they where rule, rule of law came from. They the sprouted truth. rule that comes from 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 baby sheep, which are lambs, which are now baby sheep, uh, in artificial wombs. This is the origin of rule of law. So <laughs> they sprouted rule. So they sprouted wool. Uh, it. It is appealing to imagine a world where artificial... Why is it appealing to imagine a world where artificial wombs grow babies? Speak for yourself, Mr. Article. Eliminating the health risk of pregnancy. I mean, yes, it is. It would eliminate the, the health risk of pregnancy, but uh, it would also eliminate other things like feels. I don't want to eliminate feels, man. And it would also eliminate the need for women. Never mind. No, no, there's still some... Some needs that robots have not been able to fully duplicate. Ask me how I know. I mean, I mean, converse, I mean conversation. Okay. Have you seen that virtual reality? I don't know what you guys are thinking. Japan? Have you seen that virtual reality sex machine from Japan? It has titties and everything, and it has a little. You know, I have not because I am a decent human being. Okay. I'll share it with you later. <laughs> okay, good. I mean, no, no, I don't want to know. I don't want to know, man. I don't want to know. So, uh, it's important not to get ahead of the data, says Alan Back Flake. Alan Flake? I mean, come on. You're the lead scientist on the project, and your last, your last name, name is Flake. Flake. Come on, you could have thought this through. Like, I mean, before you started the project, in which you're trying to grow a baby sheep, which is a lamb, which is now a baby sheep because of SEO, uh, you're going to... Maybe stop and say, you know, I should change my name before we go forward. I'm going yeah. to change my name from Flake to Real. <laughs> Alan Real. I'm no Alan longer is... Alan Flake. I'm Alan Real. <laughs> this is Alan Real here. This is Alan Real. Dr. Alan Real growing baby sheep, which is really lamb, which is now baby sheep because of SEO. <laughs> We're in the womb room. We're in the oh, we're in the womb. We're in the womb room. Womb room. We're in the womb <laughs> womb room. Instead, the point of developing an external womb womb. Oh my gosh, his team team is <laughs> seriously. They're calling it a bio bag, bio bag, bio bag. I don't know, man. Dude, I don't what know. Is wrong. Where are we headed? Hi, I mean, no bio bag. Come on, you're gonna call it a bio bag. Why can't you call it like a safe space for birth or something? A safe space, a birth space space, or a birth space, or a birth bag. Call it a birth... No, don't call it a birth bag. <laughs> that sounds like a birth bag. <laughs> 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 uh, could you get the birth bag? Huh? I'm pretty sure that's that's the birth there. bag! And it's been used! Well, that's, that's inappropriate. Well, it's got the blood and the fluids, so they're easy to confuse. <laughs> Oh gosh! Wow. Uh, I, if this was a serious show, we could talk about the political, sociological, philosophical okay. ramifications. Okay, yeah. But we don't do that here. Okay. No, this is just no, that's just how it is. We're just this is for the lulls. This is not. SEO for, is changing the world. SEO is changing the world. SEO is. So we're gonna go to the next story. Screw this story. I'm done with this. What do you think? Yeah. If I ever say we we'll leave this story and you decide you don't want to, shut up. Okay, next story. <laughs> armed, armed robber stretches in Dunkin' Donuts parking lot. I'm going to look at the surveillance play video, which you cannot see. And uh, I got a, uh, a young lady on here. Give us a, give us a play by play. I'd like to give the play by play, but I don't know if it's going to let me. Okay. So, so first it's showing the video with the guy. Oh, oh no, he's outside. He's doing the stretches. He's going. Rrr. Like that, back and forth. He's got the calisthenics going, and then he goes into the Dunkin' Donuts, and he robs the Dunkin' Donuts. But you know what kind of disturbs me about this? He robbed the Dunkin' Donuts? No. No, not at all. They don't usually have large bills. Actually, <laughs> he was not the smartest guy uh, when he robbed the Dunkin' Donuts. He says, "I don't want the donuts. I just want the holes." And that's all he got. He just took the holes. Wait, did that's he get it. shot? No. <laughs> no. Oh. oh, if he would have got shot, that would have been great. 
No, he wanted uh, to Dunkin' Donuts, and all he got with the holes. That's a story. Well, wait, was he white? I don't know. He was all gomered up. He was all he was all like uh, black blocked. He was black blocked. Oh, yeah, he's a commie. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, the commies get donuts. They stretch before they go. You to know, donuts. if you ever see somebody that's wearing all black or wearing red, uh oh, I just realized something. <laughs> I'm oh my gosh, together you and I are the Ancom flag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we lost half our audience. Yeah, that's uh, fine. That happens all the time. That is unfortunate. So he little it, do most of you know, watching in the audience, you're not the first audience we've ever had. Oh no, we burn through these things like mad. <laughs> we, <burn, laughs> we build them and burn them, baby. Build them and burn them. So you do. Yeah, he, sorry, you're not special. No, none of us are though. It's it's not it's not you. It's all of us. Uh, he was exercising, but not necessarily. Oh, okay. okay. This is the sentence that this. I, I gotta see who the writer is. This is in HuffingtonPost.com, and this is this is David Moy. And David Moy thought he was gonna be clever. Here's his sentence. Ready? He was exercising, but not necessarily good judgment. That's right. I'll say that again. He was exercising. You know what? That should be like a Robert Stack thing. You know? Yeah. Mystery. What was the show that he had? Unsolved Mysteries or Robert like Robert Stack here. In Philadelphia, a man stopped outside the Dunkin' Donuts. He was exercising, but not necessarily good judgment. See? That's wow. that's it right there. Come on. I did it. I did Robert Stack. Wait. Uh, and our audience dropped immediately. <laughs> they, they, they don't like <laughs> Robert Stack is not a fan favorite among the audience. They, no. I bet the, oh, Chris Fulmer, great comment. I bet the cops never responded so fast. You never rob a police substation. <laughs> That's true. That is absolutely true. And I don't know how he managed to pick a time when a cop was not at the Dunkin' Donuts. He must have staked it out and figured that 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 thirty second window <laughs> in the twenty four hour day. There's this thirty second window where, by some act of God, <laughs> no cop is at the Dunkin' Donuts for thirty seconds. <laughs> But his problem was he took the time to stretch. I don't understand the time to stretch. You need did to get. He actually, did, if he stretched, did he at least run out? No, he 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 did his stretches outside the Dunkin' Donuts, and then and casually then, walked in. He, he walked in, and it shows him. And then I don't even think he had a gun. Maybe he did. Let me see. It's kind of not funny if he had a gun, but then again, it is because it's Lozilla. We we don't care about feelings at all. Uh, Rob a place without a gun. <laughs> That's pretty. That's pretty uh, trolly of you too. And uh, really, if you rob a place without a gun, and you don't even have the decency to point a finger at them through a piece of cloth, and the person listens, I'm sorry, that person, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. I mean, you just laugh at the guy. You just literally laugh at the guy. He's like, I saw you out there stretching. Hold on, wait thirty seconds. Hold on. <laughs> hey, they're here. Hey, Officer Morell. He hey. went. Hey, I'm not. Hey, listen, I ain't in this. All I'm gonna say is. That dude wanted your donuts. <laughs> taser! 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 We have a question from the audience. This is, this was, is Philly? Yes, this is Philly. This was, is Philly. This is, was, was, is. It's the metaphorical Philly. So. You make fun of my silent bees, but you can't spell. Metaphorical Philly. I can spell Philly. Philadelphia. Are you kidding me? I am a Philadelphia everything sports fan. Okay, so you're not a Steelers fan. I, the Steelers are my second favorite team. But if if I was going to say, I would say, no, Steelers, I, I mean, they're my second choice when the Eagles lose. You are such a hooray. I, I you know, I'm desperate to, to find a reason to root for someone in the postseason. And it's much more likely to be the Steelers <laughs> than uh, the uh, Eagles. Oh, uh, 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 we triggered the audience. I meant in, asterisk. I don't get it. Because she said this was his Philly, and she meant this was in Philly. No, 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 Christine, we got you the first time. We understand you were being uh, metaphysical and, and facetious. Yeah, you were being like Dr. Susie on us. That's cool. I don't care. I'm not going to fall for it. No, no, none of us. We, we don't, we're, not, we're not falling for your freaking asterisks. No, no, none of us here are falling for that asterisk trick. I, I do yeah. that too, you know. You post something, it's really stupid, and you're like, uh, typo. You look like a Browns fan. Ouch. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, 
And if she's a Steelers fan, that really hurts because they do not Chris, look. No, that was Don. And then Chris goes condolences Don? on your sports team picks. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, Chris. I was I inherited my sports teams picks, and I'm not a I'm not woke. Uh, if I was woke, I'd be able to independently choose my sports teams. Uh, it, I, I would not have inherited them like I did. I was given them to me uh, as a child, and I they're they're now I've, I'm indoctrinated. I'm. I'm part of the system. I'm part of the problem. From the robot womb. I'm the reason why cops are at donut shops. I, c I confess. It's my fault. Actually, probably. Probably. Actually, probably. So, let's see. The the stretches really were deep. apparently in preparation for the crime. Uh, thank you. It was. I don't know who was deep. You or me or neither. It was a confluence. A convol I can't even say that. A Am I in yet? Are you in? I don't, I'm, I'm going to move on. Uh, <laughs> I say that a lot when I talk to you. I just look at you. My eyes glaze over. Oh, Christine's a Philly girl. Yes. Yes. Go Eagles. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Grill. Philly grill. Oh, she's a Philly grill. That makes sense. She, yeah, that makes more sense. She's there. cooks a lot of meat. So, yep. okay. We're just going to let that comment float out there and just keep letting it float. Keep letting it float. That Bodhi said that, by the way. I'm trying to gaslight everyone. Bodhi said yeah. that. Bodhi said that. No, no, no. Bodhi said that. Bodhi don't, said it. don't go back and listen. The Bodhi say. The stretches were. But Bodhi say, yo, Bodhi say. You know what I'm saying? Bodhi say. Now you get it. Now you get it. Now you get it. I want to see the t shirts. The stretches were apparently in preparation for the crime. A video inside the business showed him leaping. Oh my God. That's right. He did. He, he leapt over the counter and he did have a gun. Okay, <laughs> this sounds horrible, but it's good that he had a gun. I mean, not no, it's not good that he had a gun. Oh gosh! I have a little more respect for him. A little more respect for him that he that he as a thief, as a thief. I still hope he gets as a fellow phone. commie. <laughs> <laughs> At least he brought a knife to a don. I mean, a gun to a donut fight. You know, actually, without me, you're just a calm. I give you the and see together, and without you, I'm just an and. But together, we're and calm. See that right there, and calm. If you if you see the if you see the YouTube video, you'll see us. I have us side by side, and it really is that the black and the red are, are right there. It's uh, plain as day, and Kamistan and Kamistan. So uh, the workers placed three hundred thirty-four. Wait a second. He did all this for three hundred thirty-four dollars, and they put it in a blue shopping bag. No shots were fired, and there were no injuries. And then he ran away quickly. Okay. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, okay, oh. he ran away quickly. Good. No, no, no. no. Stretch for a reason. Yeah, yeah. He was loosening up, man. This uh, guy. Okay, he's on point. Okay, he's on point, man. He's solid. He's solid, folks. If you're thinking of robbing, don't. But if you were, hypothetically, this is a good points here. Uh, the man walked away quickly, no doubt helped by his pre-crime workout. <laughs> if you have information about this gentleman, call one eight hundred. 799-4532-1-800-799-453. Ah, for Raiders are standing by. So we're going to go to the next story. Did you really just give up my phone number? Yeah. Bodie has a 1-800 number. He does work overseas. I'm not going to tell you the kind of work he does, but it requires an 800 number. I'll let you use your imagination. What? You can order robots. Uh, no, it's a different kind of operation. Men call Bodhi, and they have conversations. And I'm just going to, you know, I'm decent, so I'm just going to leave it at that. We're going to go, oh, we finally got a celebrity. Ladies and gentlemen, we get to the celebrity part of our show. Yay, let's roll out the red carpet. <laughs> well, oh, well, it's, it's going to be a... There you go. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna roll out the red carpet. I'm going to roll out the black carpet, baby. Get that black, the black. Get that black. Get that red and black together. You know it, dude. Should I be wearing like maybe something to counteract the ancom? Maybe I should. I I have anarchy ball. I have Tucker ball. Hold on. Oh, God. Hold on. I'm right back. I'm gonna get Tucker ball. You haven't burned that thing yet. I have Tucker ball. 
Oh, this is a, I just want to say, this is a fascinating, a fascinating show. I'm very, wow, very intrigued Wow, the chroma key works really you know, well. You know, the wonderful thing, the wonderful thing about this, the science that went into the creation of this anarchy ball right here, and the fact that we have OBS, which is a marvelous, marvelous invention. OBS is, it's open source, and it was, it was created by the market for no other purpose than the joy of spreading fake news on you. I mean, no, this is real you news, know, folks. The only article I ever read of his... I am talked about dry shave, like shaving and not using shaving cream, and it changed my life. Oh, that's wonderful. That was wonderful. the only useful oh. article I've ever read from him. Now, now Jeffrey Tucker is going to do the news here. Aaron Carter explains again why he's so skinny. Uh, basically, I have an eating disorder. What? What? Mother? Yeah, but what? No, I'm, I'm not going to do the rest of the story. It's Jeffrey Tucker. I can't, I can't yeah, pull that thanks. off. That's bad. We should get Jim Jesus on our show because he does a really good Jeffrey Tucker. Get oh, him to a, Get yeah. him. Get him to do a. a we should a, invite him. We should. He he would be he'd be great on here. You yeah, you, yeah by the way. And he can put it on Lowberts. Yeah, yeah, he can put it on Lowberts. And uh uh I don't know if you folks what's the thing that uh that uh we're on now? What's the what's the Anchor. name of that? Anchor, yeah, he does uh he does these yeah. uh Lowberts. Uh, I'll give a plug for Jim Jesus here. He does uh Lowberts uh Lowbert News Network. It's uh fake news for real libertarians or real news for fake libertarians, depending on how you look at it. Uh it's awesome, it's great. I listen yep. That's where I get my news. I get my news from LNN. I don't trust any other source. If you're going to get fake news, why not be entertained? Aaron right. Carter. So he explains why he is so skinny. Basically, I have an eating disorder. Dude, you should. You mean be. you do massive lines of coke? Ah, uh, he he looks a little bit. Uh, uh, the picture of him here. I mean, his arms look uh okay. He looks like he's fit. You know, he's fit, but his face, man, his face, man. His face. He looks like if Harambe were white. Just gonna. He looks actually. Wow. You know, he looks like he looks like if Harambe were actually if Harambe and Andy Warhol had a kid. That's holy what he, crap. That's what he looks like. I'm not judging. I'm just. So he looks just, like a can of soup. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a can of soup that had just been shot because it was playing with know, a kid. I know you're an art <laughs> snob and you just love Andy Warhol. Uh, Andy Warhol, I, I'm not, I'm not a big pop art, uh, fan, actually, so. What the hell do you think art is? Uh, and, uh wait, wait, what, 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 art is not Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol is just one artist. Art is pop. No, 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 pop yes. art. Dude, pop art refers to a specific art movement that had a, a particular aesthetic. On whose authority? On... The pop artists themselves who describe what they were doing, including Andy Warhol, that they were taking everyday pop culture type items, especially like uh, bland marketing items like, like soup labels, and they were presenting it in an art form. And what they were, sh I would say, what they were showing is that uh, aesthetic comes in many flavors. And uh, yeah. Oh. So. Yeah, it's, okay. it's it's a real movement. It's it it was a real movement, I'm, and it's it's okay. I've never been a huge pop art fan. I like abstract expressionism myself, but that's an aesthetic thing, not a philosophical thing. You like abstract expressionism? I yes, would I do. never have guessed. Why are you being facetious? Are you making fun of me? Yes, you're making fun of me right now. I'm not making fun of you. By I'm the by the way, my name is spelled P B A U L. The B is silent. The ball. No, it's just Paul. So, so Aaron it's, Carter, we didn't even talk about Aaron Carter. I don't know if I want to talk about Aaron Carter. Fuck okay, Aaron okay. Carter. He's skinny. And by the way, y'all know why I'm so skinny is because at 19, I was diagnosed with a hiatal hernia. I didn't choose that. Aaron, 29, tweeted early Wednesday. Be kind to me. It's a what? terrible stress condition that affects me having an appetite. Oh, dude, you don't have a problem with appetite. Well, no, maybe he would. He's doing the wrong kind of... He's, he's not doing the green. He's doing the whatever, white. white. He's doing the white. You got to do more green, man. You ain't going to have that problem. He's uh, doing rails. Uh, uh, so on one hand, he has a high hernia, But on the other hand, basically, I have an eating disorder. Okay. Oh, see, Chris said he, uh, he likes hotel art himself. Goes great with the cheap hookers and blow. That he's writing about because that's the only way he's experiencing that. I understand. He goes to hotels to write about 
that kind of stuff. I get well, it, Chris. No, that's what's on the, the writing's on the wall. It makes it really easy. Literally. 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 That's not like, the only thing that's on the wall. Literally. <laughs> that's not the only thing that's on the wall. I'm just, I'm, never mind. I just said uh, you want to you want to bring white, a blue light. That's <laughs> you, the other white stuff. You want to bring a blue light with you there, buddy? Bring a blue light. Okay. Black light. Is it a black light? I thought it was a blue light, a special blue light. So just it's a ultra, black light. It's ultraviolet light. Whatever. The light that shows semen. I mean, I'm just going to go right to the <laughs> <laughs> I did that. Uh, okay. <laughs> All righty then. I hope nobody that knows me watches this show <laughs> ever. Especially okay. the sailors. Right. Well, yeah. Um Caitlin, Caitlin Jenner says, Chris Jenner, have, have, have you Great ever... Segue. Great segue. Great <laughs> segue. Oh my gosh, it is. It's it's perfect. It's perfect. I saw a, a brief uh, moment of uh, Caitlin Jenner on uh, on uh, Tucker Carlson. And you see, what, when you see pictures of Caitlin Jenner, you see like, you see the filter. Okay. You see lots of makeup and lots of filter. I remember the first time I saw, I'm not going to lie to you. The first time I saw a picture of Caitlyn Jenner, the Vanity Fair thing. And it was just sliding across my Facebook feed. The first one, you know, before I saw like a gazillion versions of it. But that first one, you don't get a close look. And as it's streaming by, I'm like, Ooh, who's the hot chick? I'm like, oh, that's not a. Oh. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I mean, I'm just going to say that there are transgendered people uh, that. They, they fooled me. I mean, Blair White is an attractive woman, right? You know, Blair White? Yeah. Okay. So it's it's not about him being trans, her being transgender, Wait, but Blair, it is about. Blair is trans? You don't know this? Oh, I thought she was just a bitch. No, no. Well, first of all, she's cool. I like her. What are uh, you talking about? She sucks Trump's cock. Okay, I don't, I don't agree with everything she says. Obviously, and she really and you said the T word. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. She doesn't As rail against. She doesn't rail against the trans community. She rails against. Oh, okay, we're, we're gonna have this conversation. I don't know if we're gonna wow. do this now, but we're gonna have this conversation. This, this is coming. Probably. She's America. You know what we're gonna have to? We, we're, what, what, what show do you think we're gonna have to have this conversation on? I don't know. We should probably invite her on though. You invite Blair White on, but anyway, yeah, she's transgender and she's an attractive-looking woman. So it's not about well, Caitlyn being a uh, transgender. It's about Caitlyn being a hideous-looking woman. I watched one of her videos. <laughs> she did this the whole time. I do that the whole time. You don't even notice. You judging me? Are you judging me? I don't even have the. I I pretend. I pretend I have bangs. That's how pitiful I am. So I saw this uh, Tucker Carlson with uh, Caitlyn Jenner and. You really see, like, kind of close up, and you see that Caitlyn Jenner has some, got some, some edges on edges on edges within the face. So, like, if any of you guys know what cubism is, look it up. Look up cubism. Look up Picasso cubism, and check out some of the cubist faces, because that's what Caitlyn Jenner <laughs> looks like. All kinds of edges and like a simultaneous angles going on that don't look like they should be going on. And then you hear Caitlin talk, well, you know what? Yeah, I kind of, uh, I, 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 you know what? When I, when I do Caitlin Jenner's voice, I'm going to sound like Alex Jones. And that, you know what? Turn the freaking frogs. Go. I was, I was going to go there. I was going to go there. But yeah, Caitlin uh, was, you know, for her, for her, for her. dimensional aliens. But but that's the the story is that that, that Chris Jenner, uh, Caitlyn's wife or ex wife, uh, surprised uh, she was then he Bruce with, by decorating. Don't bring his, me down. His her her. His, I guess how do I how do, what? Okay, I'll just say her because she's a she now. Whatever. Uh, uh, surprised me by decorating my entire home after after split. So apparently after they. So post op. It, uh, after the split, did they split after the post op or before? Post or before? I thought they split before. The, when does the when when does the sex stop and they go? Hmm, this isn't working. I'm pretty sure that Caitlin is still attracted to women. Yeah, that's true for a lot of transgenders. I don't know the exact percentage. Huh. 
But yeah, a lot of transgenders, like a significant number, like 30%. So they really are just lesbians trapped in a man's body. Literally. I mean, we all like to make that joke, but some of them... That must be... That actually has to be pretty fucking frustrating. Tain no joke! Right? Tain no joke. It's like, you know, that one uh, that, that one video, the transgender woman that uh, you and I triggered on? Well, I mm -hmm. triggered, actually. but And that's the show that we're going to do sometime soon. We're going to talk about that. Uh, uh, she's She has a girlfriend. Hmm. Same... Same thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that <clears throat> huge tobacco. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a great conversation. I know. I wish it, I wish it was on. We got to do that. I don't know if we, we can. Gotta, we got to have another. It won't be the same as it was in Telegram, but we'll have that conversation. No. It'll be probably more gentle, unfortunately. Although we could fake it. We can. I, I can manage. I, I think I can recreate it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, maybe we could change roles. So, so I could be the angry one. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, you can be the angry one. That'd be great. Uh, I don't like being the angry one, but you know, if I have to be, I'll do what, whatever it takes for the lulls. I got That's into focused. work. I got Caitlin said I got into work, started a family, started raising kids. I say it was a distraction, and Kendall and Kylie all said, "Oh, we were a distraction." I said, "Not you, you I love." Okay, I don't know what this crap is. I don't care about touchy feely yeah, things. This, I don't. I just want to get terrible, to the. She's a terrible story. No, no, she's a terrible human being, but not because she transitioned from. No, no, that's that's nothing to do with why I think she's a terrible human being. Uh, and, I agree. I agree with just, that sentiment. And it's a total subjective interpretation on my part. I don't have objective reality as to why Caitlyn Jenner is a terrible human being. But really, the whole Jenner Kardashian thing. The only thing I'll say that's good about the Jenner Kardashians. The only thing I'll say that's good about the Jenner Kardashians. The gender. <laughs> the gender Kardashians. Whoa, there's a show, Gender Kardashian. Mind yes. blown. Mind blown. Is there always, I mean, the, it, whether, even if it's Kanye, which is kind of, a, he's like an adopted Kardashian, there's a, they, they always make it on Lozilla. They, they, they give, always do. They, they feed the Lulzard. They, they really feed do. the Lulzard some quality stuff. I wonder if Kanye will ever go transracial. Wow, that would be awesome. I would because because he is pretty white. Well, yeah, I mean, I know his, you know, he's about as white as you get. Well, he's Jeebus. He's Jeebus. Yeah. He's, he's Jeebus. He's Jeebus. He's Jeebus. He's probably going to sue me for this show. We're going to go to the next story, though. What do you think? Yes. I don't really care what you think. We're going to the next story anyway. So shut. Shut your face. Okay. Okay, so, uh, South Dakota man arrested after running into burning building twice to save his beer. Come on, guys! I hope it was at least like a craft beer. If I if I read, I haven't read it yet. It better have been PBR. If it's, if it's I was gonna say if it's PBR, if it's Budweiser, you if it's Coors, burn. if it's Miller Lite. You should have you you know you should have just you know when he went in you should have made sure he. Now I'm not gonna say that. That's wrong. You know what? He has a family, a family that loves him. Who am I kidding? If he went in after Budweiser, he doesn't have a family that loves him. There's Maybe no that way. Is his That's his what family. I'm saying. A 56 year old man. This is on uh, Fox News. Oh. Oh, this is Fox News. So this is no, a serious the, story. Here's the thing I can understand why he got arrested. Who got arrested? The guy running into the burning building. Why, why would you arrest him for getting his beer? Why well, now you're state on state he, face on top of being an Ann Commie? You're an Ann Commie state on state face. Because the fire department would be held pretty much liable by the public if something happens. Oh, it says and one what what Sioux, Fiddy, Sioux Falls police tweeted. Now, it, if you run into a building to go do something stupid and then a firefighter goes in to save your ass and he gets hurt or dies. That sucks, man. That would yeah, suck, it, especially for beer. Well, yeah, no, not all beers. Not all beers. Some beers, no. I don't. I want to. One in custody after obstructing fire and police. It is not advisable to push past PD and fire in an attempt to quote unquote save your beer. I, I don't. I, I don't know. Uh, Honestly, as long as okay. I say if he's just I pushing say, past them, let him go, man. Hey, it's your choice. Right. As long as no one else cuts shit for it. Yeah, exactly. If they're like, yo, man. But that's not going to be the case. Yeah, because you know. Okay, Sioux Falls Fire and Police crews arrived at an apartment building around 12 p.m. on Sunday. And while at the scene, Michael Castile ignored an officer who tried to stop him from running back into the burning building. When he left he the building... Stop him too hard. Yeah, 
Well, maybe, you know, I mean, when you want your beer, <laughs> you have like, black, the, you yeah, you have the strength of Harambe before he was shot. Uh, when he left the building the second time, uh, Castile carried two. Ca oh, no. Oh, gosh. They describe what beer it was. Yes. It's very bad. Suddenly Great my product placement. I'm Great done. Product placement. I am done with him now. He's dead to me. Of Bud Ice beers. Bud no fucking ice. way. He went back into a burning building, not even for a case of beer, but two beers, and not really beers. Bud Ice, which is not really beer. It's no, why did you drink to sober up before you have to drive? Right? Yeah, exactly. But ice is like if you haven't peed in a while and you need to get some liquid in you, but you don't want to get drunk, try Bud Ice. It'll make you pee. It won't get you drunk. Uh, it'll make you pee. The tweet read, oh, I already read the tweet. Why did he have to go in twice for two beers? He, he had a blood alcohol content level of 0 0.082. He must have drank about, about eight cases to get to that level. Uh, two people were treated for smoke inhalation and one, really, I got to say, I mean, if this was a quality beer of some sort, or if it was like a craft beer or like uh, a craft beer, beer, like a, like, well, I know some Viper people, brews. Some, some people look down on IPAs, but you know, I could somewhat understand. I, I actually love IPAs myself. I like but, IPAs too. Yeah. I, I like I love me. that tastes like trash. Me, me too. I love it. I like, you know, something that tastes like a, uh, like a uh, watermelon pineapple beer. I'm in, I'm in it. I'm all in it. I'm in it yeah. to win it. I mean, you only live once, and Tra uh, trash beers for your trash doves. Uh, right, and you only live once, and if you drink that beer, probably not long. No, I'm just kidding. IPAs are really good. I, well, for me personally, my preference, I would understand IPA, but I don't think that there. I mean, if you're, if there's anybody left that's actually watching this show still after all this time, uh, does anybody have any feeling about the Bud Ice? Is are there any Bud Ice fans among the studio audience? That uh, well, no. I should say that's willing to admit no. it publicly. No, no, no. IP. Uh, I, this is confirmed by Christine saying IPA would be worth it. Yeah, right, Christine. You know what, Philly and IPA. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We doesn't ride. It, doesn't IPA ride. just stand for India Indian Pale Ale or something? India Pale Ale. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Why do we drink India beer? Well, a lot of it's made in America now. American right, made. but why? It's, so it, why isn't it APA? No, because it, I think maybe it originated in India. I don't know. I don't really care. Words don't mean yeah. anything to me. What intent means right, more but, than words. So this asshole puts other people in danger over butt ice. Questionable individual. Yes. Questionable individual with high blood alcohol content. Possibly anally uh, motivated. Possibly. Most likely. Pro to probably some sort of anal uh, spreading throughout his body probably occurred. Wow. In which he was able to achieve the status that Bodhi described in the beginning. I believe my mom just joined us. for the Hey, service. mom! How you doing? By the way, your mom had a terrible dream. She did. Terrible dream. and uh, She told me about it, too. It was she, very she, weird. she dreamt of a world without Paul Gordon in it, and she was horrified. I sympathize with you. Can I say your mom's name, or should I keep that hidden? Is she like yeah, a, is she a hidden mommy? She she can be a hidden mommy for now. <laughs> could she be a hidden mommy? Ask her if That's we could use her, her name. Ask her. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh god, right now right now, ask her. Hey, hey mom, can we use your name? Yeah, can we use your name? We want to use your name. We want to give you credit. We want to give you credit where credit's due. Or do you want to be a hidden mommy? I don't Which know is, if she knows how to comment on a live video. Probably doesn't know how to comment. Or maybe she on does. Facebook. She's, she's probably right now she's probably setting up smoke signals and hoping that you see them. Could you look my out your building, window? My building faces. That's anyway. what I'm saying. Uh, well, well I mean, just in case. Just in case. maybe smell. Maybe you could like tell by the smell of the smoke. Oh, that's yes smoke. <laughs> or, oh, that's no smoke. <laughs> hey, you you didn't even try. You didn't even give it a try. So, uh, we got one more story here, I think. Let's yeah, do it. we got one more story, folks. We one just more story. we just got one more story for you. And actually, I, th I think this is the best. I, uh, actually, the best. Cannibal super slugs invade Great Britain. I almost don't want to read the story. It serves them right. I honestly don't want to read the story because the title 
leave yeah, so boy. much to the imagination. I know as soon as I start to read the story, if Bud Ice is mentioned in this story, I am I'm done. I'm going to be verklempt. I'm going to <laughs> yes, I'm going to go verklempt on on a live stream. You're going to see PG verklempt, and nobody wants to see that. Cannibal super slugs. And by the way, if if anybody's watching YouTube, and this will be an excerpt. What do they cannibalize themselves, each other? I don't know. Why don't we find out? Why don't we ruin the story? While while cannibal super slugs would be a great name for a band. <laughs> oh my gosh, who is the writer here? Hold on, who's the writer? This is from Shame. Mysterious Universe, and Shame the writer. His first name is Paul. I'm gonna change his first name to Tool. Okay. Your Tool. your new fool's first name is Tool. It's now Tooley McToolerson. Tool Seaburn, because you can't change share the name Paul if you're gonna write this sentence. Well, cannibal super slugs would be a great name for a band. <laughs> British metal groups may want to hold off using it until Entomologist, use the word entomologist, what a geek, can figure out how to rid the country of giant gastropods known as, uh-oh, now you're getting really nerdy on me, Arian Volgoris that are mating with native slugs and creating new hybrid super slugs. This is how it starts, folks. I've watched Doctor Who episodes, and I know how this starts. These guys, yep. they... These are aliens from another planet. And they're like, dude, you know, we can sneak in. Doctor Who was all over looking over the Earth and checking it out and, like, looking for alien invaders. Dude, He's we... basically Santa. Yeah, he is. He actually is Santa. Uh, uh, and what we could do is we can actually sneak in biologically. Like, we'll enter in through, like, a really, really low white life form. And then we'll work our way up the biological chain. And I think like that's a baby what's... sheep? Like a baby sheep. Right. Actually, that's why they're called baby sheep. It's the tip. That is the oh, Illuminati. That is the Illuminati code. That's just the tip. Just that that is that is just the tip. So there you go. You minarchists, your argument is now invalid. You're done. Um, Boom. Destroy baby sheep. Wrecked. Baby sheep. Wrecked. That's what I'm saying. So it's uh let's uh, go on with this story because why not? It's the last story. We'll pretend we're doing a show. It's believed the six-inch long slugs first emigrated from Spain in produce shipments. How <laughs> likely, you know, more like alien spaceships. Somewhere around 2010. <laughs> what? What's more believable? Spanish ships? I can't the Spanish? Spanish ships? Spanish Come ships on. never brought new life forms to new parts of the planet. No, Spanish ships are commies. They can't possibly know how to make ships. They're commies. They never, they never brought horses to North America. They no. never brought smallpox. No, that's all aliens. The no, Spanish... All aliens. Okay. That's why they built pyramids. You think humans figured out how to stack rocks? Real Madrid? Real Madrid? Real Madrid? R-M? R-M? Uh, right. You look... You look that is actually alien speakies right there. You can alien you can speakies. right. Real Madrid is is code for I'm gonna get you sucker. <laughs> you didn't know that. The aliens are telegraphing exactly what they're doing, and we're not picking up on it. So it's no. believed the six inch long. Oh my god! Did this happen when the EMPs? Dude, I've been having this imaginary show. It's imaginary conversation. We have an imaginary audience. Well, I have an imaginary diet. audience. And somehow my imaginary self kind of, I, I was like in a zone. I was like feeling it was real. And it was like, even though I'm totally sitting in the dark, it was like my lights, my studio lights were on. Everything was working. I was like, because. Had the umbrellas backwards. Right. I, I you got your new mixtape going. Yeah, I got the mixtape going. I'm using, uh, I'm using. Uh, um, backwards umbrella. I got that Ackwards Umbrella. What's the name of the band? What was the name of that band? Hold on. It was Blood and Fluid, the Ackwards Blood and Band. Fluid. The Ackwards Band. Yeah. Yep. Blood and Fluid, the Ackwards Band. I, I had all of this stuff going. By the way, folks, if you're on YouTube and you're seeing this as a segment, uh, you're going to want to check out the playlist on this channel. I think I'll put it on the State Awake channel. And it will have all the, the segments from the show, including the whole show. So you get some of the freaking references. 
I have time to make an Nate Pot channel now. So. Okay. Well, you don't have it yet, but when you do, then it'll be on the. Oh, I don't want to see your boobs. Seriously, he's every time when he goes on the show, he's like, "You want to see my boobs now?" No, I do not want to see your boobs. Want to see my boobs, boobs. now? Yeah, you you were moving pumped. in that direction. You were back moving. When Blab, oh gosh. Back when Blab was a thing, women would swoon. Oh, God. Over they my would swoon. Bones. Wait. Over my collarbone. Lesbians. Lesbians would. That's fine. Lesbians. Lesbians like me. I like lesbians. lesbians. Yeah, they'd be like all over that. Like, oh man, look at that. Uh, uh, you know look what? Them bones. Them baby. bones. Them, them bones. bones. Hey, hey, there's a there's a song out. I forget the name of the band. It's a kind of new song. It's called Honey Bones. Look it up. It's a pretty cool song, actually. Uh, Christine gets it. Blood and Fluid sounds like a hardcore metal band. Yeah, it's a hardcore metal, screamo, rap, uh, all that put together band. But it's real Autistic metal. Screech band, yeah. It's real metal. Backwards. No, no. It's Blood and Fluid. The B is Backwards, silent. the band. <laughs> there's no B, okay? This is no relation to any persons living or dead. Any relation to any individuals or groups uh, living or dead is purely coincidental. Please don't sue me. Okay. <laughs> so. And it has nothing to do with the album you recently purchased. Actually, yeah. Yeah. In, in, all, in all good fun. I, I'm, I'm making fun. But I actually, I actually do like backwards. I really do. And I know not everybody does, but I actually do. And I'm going to tell you a I've, secret, Paul. I've I'm purchased. I'm going to tell you a secret right now. Go ahead. This is going to blow your mind. I'm listening. I've never actually listened to them. Wow. Oh. Well, I actually, I purchased their album and I encourage others to do the same. If you <laughs> like the music, I purchased a CD. I never buy CDs, but I bought the CD and I got the digital. I don't really care about the CD, but I got it just, you know, to support. Yeah. Just to put it on your old sheets, your sheety shelf. Makes a great coffee holder. So it's like coffee, whatever, kick, uh, right. you know, and you're like, yeah, it, the name of the, the 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 album is Veracity, so it's like your coffee has truth to it, and I like that. I like when my coffee has truth to it. I think I think we're done with this show, though. I think this I think is we're it. done with this show, and we can prepare for the next. Yeah. Phase. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go off the air. We're gonna go off the air, and when we come back on the air, I will be running the next show, which is what's the name of the next show? Your face. That's it. Your face, the podcast. This is the place where Facebookery and beefery are reported from the void. So we'll be yeah. back in about, what, five, ten minutes, whatever. And we're basically going to be shitting on everyone that actually watched the show tonight. So that's good. Yeah. So if you watch the show, you may end up in the next show, too. But you actually, Larry, Larry, you need to keep watching. You yeah, need Larry. To, you need to come back. When before, when before we blow your cover, yeah, yeah, you're you're in, you're in the next show, Larry. Hardcore, you're, you're in, in trouble. I have not been drinking my orange juice enough. Clearly, oh wow, you haven't. I know. I keep forgetting to. I'm such a blabber. I'm just. Protect. I'm so good that you just don't even need to drink. No, I I swear I'm not. Dr I'm drinking orange juice. I feel a cold coming on, so I feel like I got to drink some orange juice. That's Sipping all. Sipping on gin and juice. Laid back. Totally unrelated to that sip, that song. Totally unrelated to that sip. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you probably most likely next week sometime. We're we're looking maybe, I don't know, are we going to do a pod fade on this one? Or are we going to do like a, like a big blow up where everybody leaves in a huff? How are we going to kill this one? This is like Lozilla 2.0 or 3.0, really. No, we're actually version 1.8. Version 1.8. So how are we going to kill version 1.8? Why don't we just be surprised? Because you guys know we're going to kill the show because that's what we do. Well, that's what I do. And when Bodhi does shows with me, he knows he's signing up to be part of a show that Paul kills. It's over. It's a thing. As a matter of fact, actually, that we're going to talk about more in it's the over. next show as well. And it's over. Oh, you're still recording. I'm still recording. And I, well, I'm going to end now. Stream.